Well, would you look at this? Day two, what's up Tyler? Day two of the uh, Jamie's Van Build Meetup. Spent the past two days editing videos and just sitting literally in the same spot. Well guess what guys, today it's laundry day. to be the most boring day in the bus. Too much downtime, too much waiting, too much, I don't know, solitude and, well not solitude, but like this like persistent hum of the washers and dryers and every time you're staring at the clock, it's like when you're in school, you just can't wait to get out. You're like looking at that clock, so I'm glad it's done. All right, I went a little nuts at uh, the store. I got myself this isn't crazy, but you know, some fruit. I got frozen fruit. I got a jump rope so I can uh, stop being so fat. Uh, dressing for this salad, more blueberries. But here's my guilty pleasure. It's these canned fishes. I got like smoked oysters, mackerel, giant calamari. That stuff's uh, not exactly weight loss food. Here is the beginning of Jamie's van build party. I just want to show you guys how many people are here. Um, and it goes down there for like, I don't know, a quarter mile. It's absolutely incredible how many people showed up for, uh, for this event. It's actually really cool. There's some really interesting, fun people. And actually, we should go and meet some of them today because there's a lot of full-time people and I've been a big advocate of people saving money, spending less, and traveling more. And there's, I want to introduce you guys to a, a few people like that today. I'm gonna to walk around and I'm gonna ask people, and I, I wanna know their mindset. Um, I wanna know why they chose this lifestyle. I wanna know what motivated them to, to do this, because it's really, it's not a common thing. You know, it's common enough, but it's, it's you know, especially when you're younger, it's like, you know, you can either pay rent or you can travel around full time if you have a decent income. Tyler, introduce yourself. Where are you from? Hey guys, I'm Tyler. I'm from uh, Denver, Colorado. But you do have a job. I do. Okay, but you live in a van. Right. So how, tell us why on earth you are choosing to live in a van when you can totally afford an apartment, but you just don't want to or, or what? Um. You know, I was a commercial real estate broker for eight or nine years and kind of lived that corporate life. And, you know, it wasn't, it just, over time, it wasn't for me. And uh, I started buying properties while I was working. And then I realized I was making enough money off my rental properties that I now have to, um, you know, travel around and do, see what I want to see and live out of the, out of the sprinter. What are you gaining through this lifestyle? I think just uh, a lot of perspective. You, uh, you, like right here at this event, meeting such uh, different, interesting people. Um, some like, you know, maybe like more like you and I, and some are a little older and some are younger, but it's just, um, and then you can pick up and leave tomorrow and be in, you know, Southern California or Mexico. What about being in a van? is more attractive than having a nice apartment with, you know, all decorated or whatever with your buddies coming over on Sundays, right, like watching right. football. You know, I still do that type of stuff. I just, I'll come to their house and um, we'll have a good time and I'll sleep in my van at the end of the day. You yeah. Know, I still do that stuff. Yeah. All the time. Are your friends jealous of your lifestyle? Um, some are, <laughs> some are. Some yeah. uh, think it's kind of funny also. <laughs> But uh, it's all good. I mean, do your do your tenants know that their landlord lives in a van? Um, one or two do. I played the rent game until I could afford to buy my first house, but um, I would never go back to that. I mean, I'm I'm a proponent for buying homes and having mortgages because if it's a, a good buy, it's you know you're gonna make some money over time. That's smart know. real estate guy here. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's my kind of idea of it all. Next person I'm gonna talk with for the mindset tour 
Seven Wanders World, also on YouTuber, uh, also on YouTube, does yep. YouTube videos. Um, and what are we? What are you standing in front of? What is this? This is a step van, which is not really the popular vehicle for the van dwelling community, but I love it mostly because I'm tall. I'm like over six foot five, almost six foot six. I'm jealous. And the Sprinter vans are built for six foot three or under, and I love Sprinter vans. I wanted a Sprinter van, but it just wouldn't work for me for the height. This actually turned out to be a better option because we've got the flat sides on here, which makes it really easy for building out. Mm -hmm. And um, it's an older diesel, it's 1996, so I don't have all the computer uh, stuff that you get in the newer vehicles. And you're in, in the process of building, so... Just beginning, so yeah. it's not all built out and beautiful inside. Which is perfect, because I want the mindset of, of why you are choosing to uh, travel and live full-time in a panel step van. All right, well, there's a short answer to that and there's a long answer to that. The short answer to that is it's just utilitarian. It's functional for my lifestyle. The longer answer is that I've been traveling internationally the most part of the last six years and that I was looking for something that was flexible and utilitarian to that lifestyle when I come back to the United States so I didn't have to like buy a vehicle and, and try to find a month-by-month -month apartment or something like that and I want to go visit family or friends. There was just not really a good solution other than something in the RV van life realm. So I looked at all the option fifth wheel trailers, sprinters, vans, uh, all of those. Ultimately I bought a box truck, uh, cube van, whatever you want to call it had that for six weeks and it just didn't quite work out with me. It was too cramped in the cab space. So kind of like a U-Haul uh, type uh, thing? Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. I was looking at buying a U-Haul truck, having all the U-Haul decals on it just for stealth camping. <laughs> I thought that would be pretty cool. Nobody, no, because nobody knocks on a U-Haul and is like, hey, anybody sleeping in here? Exactly. So, that's amazing. An apartment complex. Great, that's the idea. great stealth camping idea. So, so I went with the step van. Um, and you work remotely. Yes, for the last uh, 26 years I've had a graphic design media company and I'm sort of winding that down. I still do a little bit of work. Um, I love the nomadic lifestyle so much and sort of following the four hour work week mentality of trying to outsource and come up with passive income, I decided to go with real estate. So I sold everything here in the U.S. in 2013 and then I got some rental properties, um, and so I have passive income from that. So nice. That's most of my income, plus some graphic design work and uh, just a tiny bit of revenue from YouTube from my <laughs> channel. As you know, yeah. it doesn't pay all the bills. Let's see what Jamie's up to. By the way, we should probably ask him how we came up with this crazy idea to do a Bill Out Your Band party. Tongue twister. Well, for me, the reason that I started this is uh, a couple years ago, I blew the motor in a van that I was driving and it had some hard times and some people pitched in on a GoFundMe to help me out. And so I thought to pay it forward, I would help some people out to get their vans ready for you know, a traveling lifestyle, whether it be solar panels or fantastic vans. In this case, we're putting a bed in for Barb. We've been at this most of the day, and we're just wrapping it up, so I'm pretty excited. What she has here is a bed that she can also use for storage. Let's check it out. Jake, I'm going to raise the lid real quick. Oh, wow, that's a, ni that's a nice handle. Cool. It's all custom fit to go around her wheel well, and it's the exact height where she can use it as a uh, bench to sit and work during the day. So we're real happy with the way it came out. Hopefully she is too. That's amazing. Uh, by the way, Jamie is a really generous philanthropic guy. He basically built and gave away a school bus. If you go check out his channel, if, you, if you're not familiar with him already, he's out here working for free, just helping people out. And it's, in this day and age, a very, very rare thing to see someone so generous and someone so genuinely nice and genuine. So um, it's awesome. If you guys want something built, come to the next one or come to this one because it's going on for the next like three weeks until the day before Thanksgiving.